Hello all, welcome back. And uh, this video is a continuation to my previous video. In my previous video, I have uh, created a Lambda function for copying the data from one bucket to another bucket. So as soon as uh, data is uploaded in bucket one. And in this uh, demo, I'm going to uh, delete uh, data as soon as the data is uploaded into S3 bucket. So let's go ahead in the lab. So here is my AWS management console and um, go to S3. So here I'm creating a bucket and uh, for that bucket, I'm going to enable a Lambda function uh, to trigger the event. And uh, so here I'm creating the uh, bucket here. So I'm using the bucket as a tech hub. Okay, and here I'm using it as a sandbox. Okay, and uh, create a bucket. So now I have created a bucket here. So let's go ahead and then create a bucket. Yeah. So these uh, two buckets, uh, we don't require that. Okay. So these two buckets I have created for my previous demo. So I'm deleting these buckets. Okay. And uh, tech hub input iPhone data. And uh, similarly, tech hub output data. Tech hub output iPhone data. Yeah. So now I have uh, only one bucket with me. So tech hub sandbox data. So here, what I'm going to do here, as soon as uh, user uploaded data, so I'm going to delete the data after five seconds. So, uh, and uh, this S3 part is done. Now go to services and uh, click on the Lambda function. Inside this Lambda function. So I'm going to create a new Lambda function here. So Lambda function options, so I already explained uh, in my previous window. And um, so that's uh, that video. So I have covered all the steps. Okay, what is uh, the blueprints and then uh, how to use the author from scratch and what is the runtime. So and what is the permissions and how to create a permissions and a role and how to select an existing role. So, uh, so you can refer that one for more details. Okay, so here I'm using it as a delete. Okay and uh, lambda function okay so i'm uh, naming it as a delete uh, lambda function and i'm using it as a python runtime 2.7 and uh, coming to the permissions part okay so i'm using the existing role which i have uh, created for my previous uh, video tutorial so you can refer that okay how to create a new set of uh, roles uh, for uh, running and triggering the aws lambda function these roles are moreover required uh, for um, editing the data from the s3 so that's why so we need to provide the read access on the s3 and uh, so if you are performing some right operations again you have to give the right operations on this so now uh, go here and then the create a, a function so now i successfully created a lambda function here and now I have to do the slight configuration changes here. And for doing that, so here is a, my, uh, the default template code, okay? So whenever uh, event is uh, triggered, so it will call the Lambda function here. And uh, so that trigger I'm, I'm going to define here, okay? So here is a set of triggers are available. So I'm working on the demo for S3. So you can select, I can select the S3 and uh, which bucket you want to perform and you, you want to trigger an event. So, and the tech hub sandbox is the bucket name which I have created recently. And which type of event you have to perform that, okay? So whenever I copy an object, okay, I want to perform these kind of operations. And if I want to delete something, so I can perform uh, these kind of triggers here. So now uh, I'm selecting that all objects created events. So if you call the port, post copy or multi-part upload, and uh, if something is created inside your S3, okay, any of the object, then so automatically it will uh, trigger the event and then your Lambda function will get executed. And uh, here I can put the, some suffix here, like, um, so if I say dot uh, .csv, like um, if I uh, csv, so if I upload only csv files, it does then only, so it will uh, delete that. If I upload other than csv files, it will not perform any operations on it. So that part I'm leaving it as a blank. So as of now, so for this demo, we don't require that. And uh, I acknowledge that, okay. So click on add. I created a, a Lambda function and also I have enabled a trigger for that. And the trigger is enabled for the tech up sandbox is a bucket name. And if I go to the Lambda function, here is my Lambda function. So I have uh, written a source code here, how to create that code into inside my GitHub, uh, the repository, public repository. 
So here you can find the link is called the S3 delete data as soon as data uploaded on S3 bucket. Okay, you can click on that. And here you can find that, okay, step-by-step -step guide, okay, how to and which window and which option you have to select and then what is the use of that option and that. Here is my source code. I will walk you through that, okay, exactly uh, how this code will work. Okay, I'm copying this code and uh, paste it here, okay. So, and here, uh, so if you see that, okay, so Boto3 is nothing but it is a AWS SD, uh, SDK with the help of Boto3 library. So we can perform uh, and we can manage uh, uh, AWS resources like EC2 and S3 and load balancing. Lot many operations we can do it with the help of AWS SDK. And uh, this Boto3 is a AWS SDK, so which is written in a Python to perform, uh, to write a Python code to manage AWS resources. And here I'm creating a object for S3. <clears throat> if, I, um, uh, if I want to create a object and if I want to perform any operations for EC2, I can go ahead and then create EC2 uh, object for this. So, uh, and uh, so here, uh, yeah. And uh, this is the default function, Lambda Handler. So here, uh, with the help of uh, this line, so I'm uh, extracting the uh, the bucket name, okay? So the bucket name which I have uh, uh, binded with the uh, trigger. So that bucket name, if I click on this S3, so I can see that, okay, here is the bucket which I have uh, enabled for the event, okay? That event type is object creation. And that bucket name, it will uh, fetch it from, uh, with the help of this event, okay? And uh, this level, so if I'm, uh, if I copy uh, any of the data there, like if I'm copying one or two files, and with the help of this line, so it will identify that, okay, what are the files are copied and uh, that files objects. So uh, in S3, everything will consider as an object. It could be image or it could be an audio file. It could be in a, any binary file. So everything will treat it as a object only. So I can identify those objects here. Then after that, uh, so uh, with the help of these waiters, okay, these are the two statements, okay. So if the file is uh, copied uh, completely, if the file is uploaded completely, so then after that, uh, okay, so we can invoke the invite. Uh, uh, this event, uh, so suppose if, I, if I'm copying one GB of file, and uh, if it is taking uh, more than uh, two minutes for the uploading, okay, more than two minutes, it will not do anything. So once the data, uh, once the file is successfully copied 100% inside a bucket, so then only uh, it will go down below, okay. And uh, here is um, the head object I'm finding that, okay, what is the object uh, details and then uh, their header values. So I'm uh, printing something here, like uh, what is the content length and then, um, so what is the size of the, the file name, okay, by using the size and limit in MB. So, and uh, finally I'm calling uh, S3 delete on object. So with the help of this, okay, uh, as soon as uh, you copy uh, the file and the file is uploaded, then I'm going to delete that. So for the demo purpose, okay, so this action will be uh, performed very quickly. So uh, for the demo purpose, uh, I'm going to uh, put uh, some sleep here, okay. Is uh, like uh, something like uh, five seconds. So if I upload a file after five seconds, so the file is going to be delete. So after adding all this code, okay, now you can go ahead and then uh, save the changes, okay. Now my Lambda function is ready. Okay, let's go ahead and then uh, test the changes. So go to the S3, okay, and uh, here, here is my bucket, okay, you go to the bucket and inside a bucket you can upload any kind of file here, so I'm uploading some CSV file here and upload this file, okay, this file is uploading that here, so once the file is uploaded, okay, so after 5 seconds this file is going to be deleted um, automatically, so if you refresh that, so just wait for another uh, two more seconds. <clears throat> now, if you uh, refresh the changes, okay, it will delete it automatically. So irrespective of uh, not only for the CSV file, you can go ahead and then upload any kind of file. For example, if I'm uploading again the CSV file here and upload a file, okay, so and uh, so once this uh, file is uploaded so and you can go ahead and then uh, click on the refresh okay so file is deleted successfully yeah this is how uh, we can create a lambda function uh, for deleting the data uh, from the, uh, your s3 bucket as soon as the data is uploaded 
So I hope uh, you get a chance to work on uh, AWS Lambda function and uh, create a custom code on this. And uh, we come to end of this video. And uh, thanks for watching this video.